Good afternoon, church, and praise the Lord. My name is Joy, and I am your announcer for today. First things first, thank you very much to everyone that has made it to church today. We're in to a man, a sana. A special thank you to everyone that brought a friend to Mapenda Wageni, Karibuni Sana. Now to the first order of business. All leaders, including board and committee members, are required to attend the pre-service prayers from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. every Sunday. This is mandatory for all leaders. Tafadali Hesabika. Also, the first hour of service on Sunday morning is set aside for prayer, so every member I make a revision. Now to the budget review. Again, we'd like to remind all chairpersons of the various boards and committees that are yet to pick their planning templates. They need to do so today. You can get the forms at the usher's desk. Tafadhali, do haste because you are behind schedule. We also want to remind every church member that you can join the PPI which stands for Pastoral Program Instruction. There is a team that goes to minister to primary pupils every Friday morning, usually from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. The team currently frequents Kenyatta Primary School and we intend to venture to other primary schools around. Kindly join the laborers in this harvest. If you are interested, please register at the reception all with John Walker for more details. The dates are closing in for this year's rite of passage. We will be taking in the boys from 6th to 20th, November of 2023, and the girls are coming in for mentorship from 6th to 10th of the same month. Kindly visit the church reception for more details. Now to the missions report, we thank God for the team that went to minister in Chania Boys, St. Paul, Gatwanyaga and Gekendo Girls for their Sunday services. We celebrate God for reaching over 1,700 students with six souls that gave their lives to God. We also celebrate God because today we have a team that went to Itoleka Girls for ministry. And from the home church department, all home church leaders and zonal leaders that are yet to collect and return their registration forms should purpose to do so at the church reception today. Please ensure you submit all your forms by the end of the month of October. Now, from the security department, if you intend to leave your vehicle, whether a car, movie, tuk-tuk, or bicycle at the church premises, especially during the week, ensure you register beforehand at the reception. Father, we'd like to notify you that we have active CCTV cameras within the church and covering the entire compound. Tafadhali, behave yourself. Last from the security department, according to the updated data privacy policy in Kenya, we require all members to sign consent forms. The leaders of the various departments should collect the forms to guide their members in signing them accordingly. Please visit the ashes desk behind or the reception desk for more details. And from the discipleship desk, we have an oncoming discipleship level 2. All members who have recently joined CCIT or gotten born again between 2020 to date are expected to join the discipleship classes that will be starting soon. Kindly register at the reception desk. Oh, today we celebrate the good work that all the men have done in leading the service. May the Lord richly bless you. More from their desk, all the men are invited to a prayer breakfast at Koinonia Hall on the 28th, which is this coming Saturday. Situtapatikana. Now from the ACMI desk, on 27th of October, we would like to welcome all members for our worship experience organized by ACMI Band and the Life Changers. The venue will be at the ACM grounds starting from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Karibuni Sana. Also, bring a friend. Now to more exciting news, our global Kesha is finally here with us. We will be gathering at the cathedral on the 27th October 2023 at 9 p.m. Please purpose to attend the Kesha and bring a friend. 
Now to the scheduled activities of CCIT, they are as follows. On the 29th of October, which is next Sunday, we are going to have a Pastor's Appreciation Day. So let us prepare a good gift, one that will give honor to whom honor is due. Later in the afternoon, on the same day, we are going to have a meeting for widows and widowers that will happen at the cathedral. In the month of November, we have a celebration upcoming where the ordination of our mom, Reverend Mary Nguli Mutune, is finally with us. It will happen on the 12th of November at CCI Neema. Let us prepare prayerfully as we plan to attend. On the 19th of November, we will have our family day. Please prepare for this. The baptism for youths will happen on 26th of November. Let us register accordingly. We will also have an AGM meeting on the same day at the cathedral after service. So this is a call to action for the youths. Please, if you are to be baptized, sign up today by registering at the front office of the church. And on the AGM meeting, don't be in a hurry to leave after service. And now as we come to the conclusion of the announcements, this is a kind reminder to all the departments you are requested to be submitting their announcements before Thursday to allow for adequate planning and preparation. Asante Nisana as you hasten to do this. I have been your announcer for today. My name is Joy. Have a fruitful week.